I am Steven Gaskowski, and you're watching you Time 2 Football. Time now for our fantasy football must starts and must sits for Week 10. Here's how accurate we've been in our predictions for each position throughout the whole 2021 season. We'll break it down even further throughout the video, so at any time, feel free to pause and read the ratings. With quarterbacks, the must starts. Carson Wentz, Derek Carr, Kirk Cousins, Matthew Stafford, and Russell Wilson. And our sleeper of the week, Matt Ryan. Ryan has quietly been having a nice season, throwing for 15 touchdowns and just six interceptions. He's thrown multiple touchdowns in every game, but two. The Cowboys are also allowing 66% of passes being completed to opposing quarterbacks, and Matt Ryan has been very accurate this season, with a completion percentage of 69. Nice. The must sits. Mac Jones, Ryan Tannehill, Mike White, Jared Goff, and Taylor Heineke. And our bust of the week, Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo is definitely an ad, but let's hold off on him for this week. In the last two games, Garoppolo has put up at least 19 fantasy points, but the Rams haven't given up more than that in the last five games. Jimmy G also has thrown for 300 yards the last couple games, but the Rams have only allowed two quarterbacks to pass for over 300 yards against them. Running backs, the must starts. James Conner, Kenyon Drake, Leonard Fournette, Daryl Henderson, and Daryl Williams. And our sleeper of the week, Javante Williams. Williams had his best game as a runner last week, rushing for 111 yards on 17 carries. Melvin Gordon will continue to be the starter, but Williams looks like the more talented of the two. The Eagles have allowed over 100 rushing yards to running backs in six out of the last nine games. The must sits. Mark Ingram, Adrian Peterson, Michael Carter, Mike Davis, and Alex Collins. And our bust of the week, Jordan Howard. Howard has been solid, rushing for three touchdowns in the last two games. But we need more clarity before we can put Howard into our starting lineups. For starters, Howard has a tough matchup this week. And when breaking down the Eagles' backfield, Boston Scott actually played more snaps than Howard last week. It looks like the Eagles are riding with a hot hand, and it's too risky to start Howard. Wide receivers, the must starts. Michael Pittman, Hunter Renfro, Adam Thielen, Cole Beasley, and DJ Moore. And our sleeper of the week, Michael Gallup. Gallup is set to make his return this week against the Atlanta Falcons. He was targeted heavily by Dak Prescott in week one prior to getting injured. AJ Terrell, the Falcons is also having a very good season and could be locking up against either Amari Cooper or CeeDee Lamb, leaving Gallup open for potentially a big day. The must sits. Jacoby Myers, Julio Jones, Christian Kirk, Tim Patrick, and Marquez Callaway. In our bust of the week, Elijah Moore. The last three weeks is what we hope to see out of Elijah Moore all season long. He might have a bit of a hiccup this week, as the Bills have only allowed two wide receivers to score a touchdown this year. Not to mention Corey Davis is set to return this week, which will eat into Moore's targets. We're going to take a quick break to tell you about engineered sleep. Sleep may be the most important activity you do every day. It affects your mood, energy, productivity, and health. Talk to the sleep experts at Engineered Sleep for a free consultation and find the perfect mattress for a better night's sleep for your family. Use the promo code T2F for 10% off, that's up to $250, and two free pillows. Also, they're 100% American made. Visit EngineeredSleep.com for better sleep and a better life. Tight ends, the must starts. Dallas Goddard, Pat Fryermuth, Tyler Conklin, Noah Fant, and Kyle Pitts. And our sleeper of the week, Dan Arnold. The lack of a true number one receiver has allowed Arnold to shine. In the last two weeks, he has 17 targets, making him the second most targeted tight end in the past two games behind just TJ Hawkinson. The Colts have also given up six touchdowns to tight ends this season. The must sits. Jared Cook, Zach Ertz, Mo Ali Cox, Tyler Higby, and Hunter Henry. And our bust of the week, Dalton Schultz. Since the Cowboys bye week, Schultz has just six receptions. His outlook for the rest of the season is also not promising, as he's expected to lose targets to Michael Gallup. The matchup also might be tougher than you may think, as Mike Kosicki has been the only tight end to have success against the Falcons since week two. Kickers, the must starts. Michael Batchley, Chris Boswell, Greg Joseph, Young Wiku, and Daniel Carlson. And our sleeper of the week, Ryan Suckup. 
Normally, I'm not the biggest advocate for kickers on high-scoring offenses, but I'll let Suckup slide on this one. In last year's playoff game against Washington, he attempted four field goal attempts, so I'm liking Suckup this week. The must-sits. Jake Elliott, Matthew Wright, Mason Crosby, Zane Gonzalez, and Jason Myers. And our bust of the week, Chase McLaughlin. McLaughlin has been unreliable all season, scoring double-digit points in just three games this year. Last week was the first time McLaughlin converted multiple field goals since week five. Only two kickers have scored double-digit points against the Patriots all year long. Defense and special teams, the must-starts. The Colts, Cardinals, Browns, Rams, and the Patriots. And our sleeper of the week, the Tennessee Titans. The Titans have been on a hot streak defensively, limiting the Chiefs and the Rams to just 19 points combined. Most of us have overlooked the Titans all year, and this is the week we finally take notice that they are legit. They don't have the best matchup this week, but if you're looking for a streamer off the waivers this week, the Titans may be your best option. The must sits. The Eagles, Packers, Vikings, 49ers, and Washington. In our bust of the week, the Dallas Cowboys. Many fantasy sites will say to start the Cowboys, but when we really break it down, the Cowboys have relied on defensive and special teams touchdowns to boost their fantasy value. In games they haven't scored a touchdown, they scored over seven fantasy points just once. The Falcons offense, led by Matt Ryan, has also been productive as of late. As always, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with when we come out with more fantasy football videos every single week. If you want a high chance of your fantasy questions being answered, join us during our live shows, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We dedicate a few minutes every day to answer questions that have been left in the live chat. And be sure to follow us on social media, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and best of luck in week 10.